Hi and welcome ladies and gentlemen to my little shaving bathroom here. Um, I have uh, three days of growth now. Uh, after uh, my previous video I had a fantastic good post shave feeling and uh, the feather blade and the fat tip made a really great job. I was almost BBS the day after that shave as well so I decided to go for the same today and uh, it will be in the second use of the feather blade in the fat tip blade is loaded and ready to go and um, the soap for today it's a soap I've been uh, wanted to try for a while and uh, it's the Swedish witch She's an artisan soap maker here in Sweden and uh, many people uh, love her soap so I look forward very much to try this soap today. Uh, I have a bloom her soap here in my porcelain bowl where I put the soap when it came by the mail the other day. And um, I'm gonna read my notes here for you. The soap is called uh, Fresh Spice and it contains up to six essential oils including resin from frankincense, cypress, douglas fir and lavender. There is also lard, castor oil, lanolin, coconut oil and chia butter in a short and very clean ingredients list. No nasty chemicals in this soap whatsoever. Um, soaps with um, coconut oil and shea butter I seem to like very very much because it gives me a really good post shave feeling. So I'm very happy to see that this soap contains that. Um, the scent of the soap is quite strong of uh, lavender and citrus and in the back there are uh, some notes from woody notes probably from this Douglas fir. It's a very, very, very clean and fresh scent from this soap. Very summer-like, in the late summer, warm summer, when the lavender, at least here, is blooming. It's a very, very, very nice scent. So, um, that's post shave will be this old bugger. It's still hanging on, not much left now, but there's something in the bottom there, yes. And I will finish with some Aramis EDT because it's a very nice scent and I feel for that today. So, without further ado, I will wet my face and we will go on with the shave. I will put the link to her um, Facebook site in the description below so you can contact her if you want now I'm gonna try to get use of this bloom water here as a pre-shave First time I try a Swedish soap, so it will be very, very interesting. And I will do a face ladder. So I'm gonna wet the brush. Which, by the way, is my trusty Mühle. 21 millimeter synthetic. This brush can whip up any ladder. So let's load it here. It was a very nice big um, soap sample I got from her. It was, I think it's at least 30 40 gram. So thank you very much, Sara, if you watch this. I really appreciate this soap. 
it's a wonderful sun here now in the bathroom. The sun strength is a little, maybe a little bit above medium. Very clean, very fresh. Actually now the the, the more woody sands come from here. Probably this Douglas fir, which I never sanded before because we don't have that kind of fur here. I think I loaded enough now. Very, very pasty. I can feel immediately. It will be interesting to see how much water this soap can take. Finally, weekend, guys. Hope you are uh, all are well and enjoy your shaves. Okay, some water to this. might have overloaded the brush. This brush is um, so superior. These synthetic Miller brushes, they are... You don't have to load them more than maybe 10 seconds. Draw them up for three passes. They are incredible. I uh, can on already say that this soap can take tons of water as well and that's a good sign usually Quite amazing. Okay. I will go for a little more danced first pass here. And see how it performs. I'm going to do the same trick with the alum on the handle on the fatip today. Because if you get soap on this handle, it's impossible to, to hold it without... It will go off your hands almost. Let's see the first pass.
great slickness. Great residual slickness. Fantastic. Absolute premium. Left there on the, I didn't have the leather quite as wet as I usually do. It's something with this racer. I really love this racer. It's quite charming because uh, the blade almost never line up properly. You have to do it fibbling around with it a little bit. But when you finally shave with it, it's a fantastic racer. That keeps you on your toes because if you do something wrong, it will bite you. But if you do it right, it rewards you with a fantastic BBS shave. I'm gonna rinse and we see where we are. This phone records. So one day I was standing here and talked to myself. Yes, it does. And I forgot to put on the play button after a pause. It was, <laughs> I had to do it over again. Very, very slick. Very nice first pass. Jesus, comes everywhere is like Very nice mix of uh, lavender and citrus. I think uh, Trevor would love this soap if you see this.
Very, very good. Pick up here on my jawline. That's always my problem area. Here. Probably due to the blade. I find that the blade so maximum last two shaves for me, especially after my previous shave where I had nine days of growth. That one had to work quite hard to get that away. After two shaves, this blade is done for me because it's no longer particularly sharp it's only horse and it seems already come to that because there's certainly nothing wrong with the slickness this is all only from the blade and I didn't make any bad moves today so I blame it on the on the blade. Okay guys, I'm gonna rinse up and I'll be back. Back again for the post shave. My beard of Sweden. Sandalwood ball. Uh, this soap. I heard and seen many people talk very well of. And um, especially here on Swedish wet shaving forums. <clears throat> but as always, if something is Swedish, people tend to exaggerate how good it is just because it's from Sweden. So I was a bit skeptical. But I'm not anymore. This was a soap that is in every aspect up there in the premium soaps. I must compare this with the uh, Saponifisi, Varicin, Mumpana, Creman, Le Paulusian. Uh, I do because the leather was very very good quality. It was cushioning, could take you tons of water and it had a great face feel <clears throat> on the glide and the uh, Residual slickness was absolute fantastic. Uh, Sarah really know how to make soaps, that's for sure. And I hope she can expand her business and uh, sell soaps uh, a little bit more um, frequent than she does now. Because this is some soap everyone should try and have. Lovely, fresh, summer scent of lavender and citrus and, and wood uh, medium strength a little bit above maybe great quality in soap very very nice i had a great shave i feel great and i expect a very nice post shave feeling tonight here after this 
When the soap can do what it's supposed to do. With the chia butter and the coconut oil. It's very nice for the skin. I'm gonna spray some EDT here on me. That was it for today guys. I hope you all enjoyed it and if you did you can give a thumbs up. And uh, write a comment below. It's always nice to be interacting with you guys. Have a nice weekend now everyone. Take care. Bye bye.